Qu'est-ce qui se passe You know, the thing with the couture shows is there's so few of them, and and each piece is so major, and and the money involved, and in maybe that has something to do with a different kind of excitement than the Pret-a-Porter, but I'm sure it does. But when you strut your stuff down the runway, do you feel different at a couture show? Like, do the clothes well, feel different? Oh, yeah, they're a lot tighter, and you can't breathe as well. <laughs> I always enjoy doing the Chanel Couture more than the Pret-a-Porter. Why is that? Well, it's just the quality of what you're wearing is so much. I mean, it's just the details and all the little, um, all the fabrics and all the colors, and they do, it's much more theatrical, so it's, it's a lot more fun. was the afternoon's operative word as Carl Lagerfeld turned Couture Week on its ear in his inimitable, risque fashion. I think you kind of have to take it tongue-in-cheek, and a lot of things are not things that people will buy. They're sort of thrown together just to make more of an um, image for Chanel. Lagerfeld definitely took his chances in reviving the micro mini for this couture crowd. The Kaiser had no qualms about how it would be received. Uh, are you cool and confident or are you frazzled? Who? You. You. Working class. <laughs> you mean it's just like it just have, came have, the I have no emotional approach to work. <laughs> really? You don't get totally freaked no, you, you, out? Yeah, and somebody has to stay in control, huh? Ah, exactly. Uh, and it's not my first show and I hope not my last one. <laughs> Among the treats the show provided was the appearance of Cindy Crawford, who brought hubby Richard Gere along for the ride. Crawford never does the Paris Pretz, and this was her only appearance at Couture Week. I'm friends with Carl, and I was in Paris anyway on my way to my holiday, so of course if I'm here, I'm going to stop and do the show for him. Mm -hmm. Why is Carl's show so special? I mean, everybody's always excited about uh, the um, Chanel shows, and all the great models come out. I think it's because the clothes are beautiful, and, he, and he's such a... Genius. Carl did a great job. I mean, it was sexy, and the fabrics were fantastic. I yeah, thought. Great it was wild. All, it was just wild. And great to see all those legs again. Nice to see legs. I always like that. <laughs> I think to make anything happen, uh, you have to do the extreme, mm -hmm. you know, if it was sort of in between, nobody wouldn't have taken any notice and it would look sort of elderly, at least this way, you notice the change. Can we just ask you what you thought of the show today? This war is coming. Show? <laughs> Feminist war. No, I loved it. I think it was joyful, really. What about those really short skirts? Would you wear something of that short? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I think those micro mini skirts are going to be hot as hell in two seconds flat. And I think they're changing the proportion and they're changing the attitude of people. And I think they're the new club skirt. It's just amazing, though, the fashion. Uh, okay, we know it's fickle, but I mean, only yesterday, it seems, Lagerfeld was saying, oh, forget it. The short skirts are dead. They're over. They're finished. And now he's revived them. I mean, how confusing for the average woman out there but as you well know Jeannie this is not brain surgery it's just clothes so you know why not and these are obviously a lot of clothes for the modern sex bunny I think that you have to be a sex bunny and I think he is where the world is the world is at that place the world is at that place sexuality is no longer repressed that's why the girls have these bustiers it's all about being sexy mm -hmm. 
It's all about being totally hip, and he has totally his eye on the world. Andre Leotelli said it was a uh, fashion for sex bunnies. He knows more about that than I do. So if he says that, huh? huh? <laughs> do you try to shock people ever? Are you ever thinking of that? I don't try that? to shock. I just design what I think is right for the moment, for the woman of the moment, for the girls of the moment. I don't try to shock nobody. Huh? So what is this saying about the woman of the moment? Well, you saw her. But for my, my moment, I don't know. Other people's moment, I don't know. So don't ask me. Huh? So it's sex, sex, sex. No, no, no. It looks that sexy. I don't know. That's what everyone's been saying. You know, I think, yeah. You have to call me, me back when I saw the video. I haven't seen the video yet. <laughs> so I don't know. To me, it looked normal. 